both Objective 6 and 7, these steps will be required as part of completion of some of your 8, 9, and 10 objective problems. Individually, the step in Objective 6 involves alternating doses between drops per minute, or that free flow by gravity, and milliliters per hour, which is IV flow by pump or infuser. What you will notice is that the step that is learned in Objective 6 of alternating between free flow and pump is simply one part in the other processes for the other objectives. Though working Objective 6 and 7 problems can be accomplished by ratio and proportion, you may find that this causes too much time in your more difficult problems. For this reason, I would like to spend a second talking about an easy way to do these conversions because they will simply be a step in other processes. What I have on the screen shows that Objective 6 involves converting IV flow between drops per minute or gravity flow and milliliters per hour by IV infuser or by pump. In the center portion you can see drops per minute on the left, milliliters per hour on the right, a top arrow pointing from left to right, and a bottom arrow pointing from right to left. Notice that when changing from drops per minute to milliliters per hour, the arrow shows that to convert you simply multiply whereas the opposite action, moving milliliters per hour to drops per minute, requires division. Though some students use big to little, little to big as a way to remember, I found it easier to write the arrows and conversion method on my scratch paper and make reference to it during a test. To address how multiplication and division are used in conversion, we use this in combination with what has become known as the magic number. Because you're converting not only minutes and hours in this conversion, but drops and milliliters, the number 60, which is in common between minutes and hours, is used in conjunction with the IV tubing to establish what is called a magic number. As you can see from the tubing type listed, 20 drops per milliliter, 15, and 10 all correspond with magic numbers based on how many times that tubing number goes into the number 60. Because 20 drop per milliliter, 20 goes into 60 three times, the magic number for this type of tubing would be 3. When dealing with tubing that has a name associated, such as mini, PD, or pediatric, and micro or micro drip, the number associated with this tubing as its drip factor is 60, therefore the magic number for named tubing is 1. Lastly, the tubing magic number determination is restated here with an example showing how the number is used. For a quick example of how this would work if the IV was infusing by gravity at 40 drops per minute through 20 drop per milliliter tubing and we needed to convert this to milliliters per hour, we would take 40 drop per minute and multiply because we're changing to milliliters per hour by the magic number which is based on the tubing. Because the tubing is rated at 20 and 20 goes into 60 three times, our magic number is 3, which would result in 120 milliliters per hour as our new infusion rate by pump.